two heavy hitting GT cars, both with four wheel drive and masses of power. Launching these two brutes at the same time threatens to reverse the rotation of the Earth. The Porsche 911 Turbo S has long been the king of the drag strip. This latest version is more powerful than ever. It's twin turbocharged flat six putting out 572 brake horsepower and a thumping 553 pounds foot of torque. The Jaguar F-Type R all-wheel drive supercharged 5 litre V8 is good for 542 brake horsepower and 501 pound foot of torque. So the Turbo S emerges as the clear winner. It covers the half mile strip in 16.7 seconds compared to 18.4 seconds for the F-Type. The 911's brutally effective launch control system, enormous, almost unbreakable traction and rapid fire twin clutch gearbox see it record an absurd 0 to 60 time of 2.6 seconds. Launching a Turbo S really does take your breath away. In dynamic mode, the F-Type will hold itself at 4,000 RPM against the brakes, step off the brake pedal, and the car launches forward. With good traction, it records a three and a half second to 60 time, fast, but against the Turbo S, it just isn't fast enough. The Porsche records a truly remarkable set of numbers. How about 100 miles an hour in six seconds flat, or the quarter mile in 10.5 seconds? The Jaguar sprints to 100 in 8.1 seconds, but by that point, it's already more than 2.1 seconds off the 911. The F-Type covers the quarter mile in 11.7 seconds. In the event, the Turbo S has the F-Type covered in every respect. It's more powerful, it has better traction, its PDK gearbox is quicker than the Jaguar's automatic, and it's significantly lighter too. The Jaguar F-Type R is a sensationally fast GT car, but the Porsche 911 Turbo S is still the daddy. To catch these new drag race films the moment we publish them, hit that subscribe button.